There is a rich man who is feeding thousands of people, giving free school, paying for free meals of people, using millions of cool shillings. But in a country known for black people and mostly Christians, this person is of Indian origin and practicing a different religion. What is the real agenda behind him spending millions of Kenyan shillings on people when he had the choice of not doing it? His name is Hasmu Patel, mostly known in Mombasa as Hasu. He is one of the richest guys in the region. His company Mombasa Cement owns like 20% of the cement market in Kenya. That's not only enough, he has so many other industries also in Uganda. Let me give you a very brief of what he does in Kenya. He has a program Sahajanad Feeding Center where they feed for free thousands of people. There is Sahajanad Special School where more than 5,000 children are having free education, picking garbage for free. He pays bills, he pays randomly hospital bills for so many people and I even found some in the comments of a certain video claiming that they've been paying their tuition from him and as if that's not enough he once transformed a dump site into a touristic place all that using millions of Kenyan shillings. Now, the question comes behind, why would he do all that when there's so many other billionaires as him keeping quiet and not giving back to the community when he could have reinvested it and make it bigger, his companies. Yet, this became one of the things which I realized mostly about Indian business people in Africa. And it's one of the reasons of their biggest success. They always have the plan of giving back to a community, even in Congo. Any Indian business person could work, they would try their best to be as normal as possible with the people they employ. And I remember realizing that even in a city like Kinshasa, most donations which are being done from the rich people were mostly coming from the Indian rich people rather than the Congolese. And as this method can seem as something wasting your money because you had the choice of not doing it, apparently it's very effective because you watch them, they're always successful in doing those actions. Not only it makes people feel like you are now part of them because you take part of their suffering, it also makes people want to buy more from you because they know that by making you rich you make others people good as i saw in the comments of this video people explaining that they want to know more about the cement of that guy so they can only buy it from him rather than buy it from others who will just use their money to become more richer he decided to live a very simple and private life which means that he is not mostly known or seen in public but his actions are helping thousands of people on a daily basis for food, for education, for health. This is one of the more things to learn from Indian people that whatever you get something, learn to give back to your community. It's one of the ways to make yourself successful. Even though you can still choose to not do it, do it because it's one of the ways to make yourself successful. Thank you so much for being here. Catch you next time.